you're completely happy in life. You tell yourself, no, oh, video games aren't even that bad. No, they're not, they're not bad. Yeah, I, I'm addicted to technology. I'm addicted to my phone, but I, it's not that bad. I only game video games on an hour a day, but you don't. It's not just an hour a day, is it? It's way, way, way more than that. Oh yeah, but I work a nine to five. So like when I get home, I'm tired. So I just want to game for that one hour. Again, it's not one hour, is it? When you get home, you're not really tired. You're just looking forward to gaming for four, five, six, seven, eight, ten hours. Until the next day. Until you fall asleep with your controller in your hands. Until you're literally shitting yourself in your chair whilst you whilst you game. Just because you've just been there all night. Thing is, like, that's over that's over that's obviously like over dramatic. Like, that's over exaggerated. But the thing is, I know for a fact that some dude out there has done this. Maybe a lot of guys. And that is what's worrying. Look, technology. Yeah, that big word. Technology. It's a big thing, right? You can't... It's so abundant in life right now. You, it's almost impossible to be able to, like, take a step back. Because technology is everywhere. And technology addiction is everywhere. It is everywhere. Almost everyone, like, is there on their phones. And, yeah, like, you probably need your phone for, like, work. But you're probably not using your phone for work, are you? You're probably using it for all the stuff that you don't need to. That's where the addiction like kicks in. Thing is like I had the typical shitty like work life balance. Like I had that typical life um, and it wasn't like it, it sucked. Yeah, it sucked. Like I was working like a nine, a typical nine to five. It wasn't actually, it was a restaurant. So it was like 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Which is big hours, yeah, but like meh. But yeah, so I'd work like 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And then I would get home and I'd either sleep or I probably would game. So I'd get home like one in the morning and I'd game until like two, three, four, probably later. And then I'd go to bed, wake up like 30 minutes before my shift and drive to like my shift dreary eyed, tired, wondering why I'm tired even though I gamed like until like seven in the morning. And then like the weekend, my two days off, I'd be like, oh, I'm so tired from work. It's okay for me to game all day today and all day tomorrow on my two days off where I could be doing so much. I just gamed the whole day. Say I had that kind of like work-life balance. It sucked. It was really not good. And I thought it was fine. I thought I was happy. I was like, oh, I'm so excited for the weekend because I get to game. I thought I was happy, but I didn't realize like how devastatingly bad that was for my health and like my mental health. And then obviously like my physical health. And the thing is like, I look at myself now and I'm like thinking like, oh my God, this video hasn't done super well. It's not the, my best video that's first come out. Like, oh, the click through rate isn't as high. And I sit here thinking like worrying about like this, my this channel and stuff. And I'm sat here thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. Sean, you're not addicted to video games anymore. You're not addicted to technology. You've created this. You have people that support you. You've taken back control of your life. What, why am I being so, so like down, looking down on everything, like as if I'm failing? You need to be proud of your progress, okay? It, this world is almost impossible to step back from technology. So if you're on self-improvement and you have, you've started to think about like getting rid of all those bad habits you started to improve your diet you've started to exercise you're starting to pay for that gym membership you need to be proud of the progress that you're making because self-improvement in this day and age in this world is supposed to be impossible it's not supposed to be done with how awful this world is and how like it abundant with all these bad habits and addictions and technology right like this world has so much cheap dopamine and this world literally thrives of you being addicted, of you failing. Like this world will tell you, oh, oh you're addicted to your phone. You're addicted to drinking. You're, you, you don't feel good. You feel really, really depressed when you work. That's good. That's good. That makes us better. That makes us money. When you're addicted to your phone, we get the benefits. You don't, but we do. Like this world is, it's built so it's self-improvement shouldn't be possible and it shouldn't be a thing, but it is. A lot of guys aren't on self-improvement, but a lot of guys are. Maybe you're one of them. And if you are, bro, be proud of yourself, man. I'm going to go through three steps, three key points that you can implement into your life now and you can literally start taking back your life. And the first two are like things that like active that you can do. But the third one is probably the most important because it's the mindset. 
So stick to the end because all of these points are really, really helpful, especially the last one. Now the first one, step back from technology. Bro, you need to literally pull down your trousers and take a giant sh on technology. Like you need to like just take a big step back and you're probably gonna instantly like click off this video because you're like, I don't know how, I don't know where to start. I don't know how to do that. The first two things you just need to take a step back from is your phone and video games. Now your phone, that's a bit harder because you use that. Like you probably need that for like schoolwork. Probably need it for like your actual like nine to five job. Like you probably need your phone, but you probably aren't using your phone for work. You're not probably using it productively. And you're probably using it for like things that give you cheap dopamine and like instant gratification. So that's where the phone addiction comes in. That's where the addiction lies, not on the productive stuff. And then video games, that's just not productive. Like you can get rid of that now. Like you can just get rid of that. If you're addicted to video games, you're probably clicking off this video already. Cause you're probably like, ah, he's telling me to take back control of my life, but I got to stop my addiction on technology and video games that waste so much on my life. <gasps> but why? That makes sense. But why would he tell me that? Like if you click off this video, then you clearly aren't ready to take back control of your life. You're not ready and that's fine. You can just leave you're not ready but of those who have stayed you are ready so the first thing is that you need to just get rid of video games and you need to like you can't kill a habit you can only replace it and that will lead on to the next point like what you, you can replace video games with now your phone that's a whole different story look if you want to be able to use it for the productive things i recommend getting rid making your phone less interesting so you're not addicted to like the stimulating stuff not the productive stuff now, the one way to do that is like go into like if you're on an iPhone, you can go into settings, go into accessibility and just turn on like mono mode on like colors and basically makes your phone black and white. Now, your phone is going to become unbelievably boring. So you aren't going to really be wanting. You aren't going to want to go on your phone because it's black and white. You are really not going to like it unless you have a fetish of black and white stuff. But you still need to get the productive stuff done. So you will probably only go on your phone for that. And if and another thing you can do, literally just like get rid or delete the apps that are stimulating if not you can like just put them into like your locker which is like off the home screen on apple iphones but then like it's hidden away so you have to actually search up and then the only apps you can see are the ones you need like schoolwork your emails for work like stuff like that by doing this and that's the only stuff that you can see and you delete all the other apps that you don't need then that's obviously gonna make a difference that's obviously gonna force you to do the productive stuff rather than the stimulating stuff now leading on to the second point diet and exercise look i put these together because like diet and exercise go hand in hand if you exercise but you have a terrible diet your exercise is for nothing if you have a good diet yeah that's good but if you you may as well have a good exercise and like actually exercise because if you have a good diet but no exercise you're probably sat inside all day so all that good nutrients is like going to waste because you aren't using your body. So these go hand in hand together, right? And diet and exercise like literally gives you a routine, an amount of discipline, which is super, super helpful. Like what I said previously, you can't kill a habit. You can only replace a habit. So replace video games with diet and like exercise and going to the gym. Now, this is really, you'll be way, way less likely to go back to video games if you fill up your time with the good stuff, you'll be way less likely to be addicted to the bad if you're filling up your time with the good, right? Which makes sense. And you're probably all thinking like, wait, he said the first one was the hardest, right? Well, actually I didn't, but like, I think the first step is probably the hardest. And this is like probably one of the easiest, this step. Uh, and you're probably thinking like, whoa, 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 whoa. Exercise dieting, that's easy. Oh, this man's talking absolute bull. This man doesn't know what he's going on about. This is one of the easiest things, right? Diet, if you probably like at home, just ask your parents to like cook non-processed stuff. So just like, oh, when you buy chicken, just like, just buy chicken. Like, like don't buy like the chicken that's been processed. That's already pre-packaged. Just buy raw chicken. I'll cook it myself. Mum, dad, I'll cook it. I will cook you food. Just buy single ingredient stuff. Anything that's not processed right because that's really healthy like compared to like processed stuff that's unbelievably better so diet you, you can do with the parents or like if you're at work it doesn't take up much time to cook your own meals like to buy single ingredient stuff like it doesn't take that much time and you can fill up your time look if you 
have so much free time to go on video games, you will go back onto it. So fill up your time with cooking, going to the gym. You'll be less likely to go back. This is super, super important. And it literally transforms your life. And the thing is, like, I just went on a whim because, like, my friend was like, oh, do you want to go to the gym? And I was like, oh, why not? I'll try it. I'll do it. Why not? Bro, after a week, it was difficult for the first week because I had to like force myself to keep going. But then after my first week, I fell in love with it. And I was only exercising for the first like month. I wasn't looking at the diet. After I did more at the gym and, and like working out more, I started being like, okay, you know what? Actually, I want to look at the diet. I want to improve as much as I can. So if you start going to the gym, you'll naturally start improving your diet. Because like, that's normal. You start, improving the, you start improving the physical, your mind is going to want to improve like your diet, the mental. So step two, diet, exercise, replace the bad habits with this. And step three, probably the most important, and that's the mindset. You need to be aggressive. You need aggression. There is no passion. There is no aggression. <laughs> Look, if I'm going to give you two scenarios. You've got the sad guy versus the angry guy. Now, the sad guy, he sits down and he knows that he's doing all the bad habits he knows that he's wasting his life away he knows that he's depressed and sad and he knows that he's, he knows all of this at the back of his mind and he's thinking oh oh i'm drinking oh i feel bad i don't really want to drink oh i'm depressed oh I, I i'm just addicted to my phone i'm scrolling again oh i feel bad though i don't want to this makes me feel worse compared to the guy who's angry who's aggressive who literally hates the bad habits you gotta hate the bad she you gotta ha hate all that stuff he literally looks at video games and he's like no i hate that i despise it ugh, 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 that's gross ugh, i don't like video games i hate that i like going to the gym i prefer this oh you gotta you gotta have that aggression otherwise you won't take that first step you will never take back control of your life if you never have that a bit of aggression to like actually want to if you don't want to take back your life you won't so you need to have a bit of aggression you see the sad guy here he doesn't make progress the angry guy he makes progress i'm not telling you this like oh these are two fake scenarios i have literally seen these two people it as my friends i have seen the two different people the sad guy, the angry guy, in my peers, in my friends, and I've seen who's made progress. And it's not the sad dude. And not only have I seen this in friends, I've seen this in me, in you, in younger me, right? You, yeah, younger me right now. I, I, I used to be the sad guy who was pathetic. I used to be the sad guy who didn't want to do anything, but felt bad about everything. I was like, oh my God, I'm doing all the bad habits. Oh, I'm depressed. God, you know what? Younger me, younger me was dumb as shit compared to me now. You need to aggressively hate the bad habits. Otherwise you aren't gonna make progress. You need to update your self image, the way you see yourself. I'm not the guy who likes video games. I'm the guy who hates video games. I don't like that. I'm the guy that goes to the gym. I love the gym. I hate the bad habits. I hate eating processed food. Ugh, McDonald's. Get that away from me. You need to update your self-image. And not only that, if you had a person in front of you right now, if you looked at this person standing in front of you and this person was your future you, five years down the line, imagine the you five years from now standing right in, th in, right in front of you. Now, is he your dream you? Is he the guy with the perfect physique, with the dream body, the dream mindset? He's created that online business. He's got that perfect dream girl of your dreams. I'm using the dream a lot, <laughs> using that word quite a bit. Is that the future you five, now, five years from now? Is he standing in front of you? Or is it just you who's probably, I don't know, ranked one in a video game? Is he the guy standing in front of you five years from now? Probably, but who do you wanna be? You don't want to be the guy who's ranked, I'm really good at this video game. Oh, what have you done for your life? I play video games. I'm very, very good at it. Bro, do you want to be the guy who's got your dream physique, got your dream girl, got your dream business? Obviously, you want to be that guy. Look, you can make your choice. You can choose to be the guy who's like really good at video games or like sad, lonely, depressed. Like, you can choose to be him, but I mean, you can choose to be the guy who's like lonely, right? Who's a home who sits at home like a gremlin 
and has just holes up into his room and has done nothing with his life. You can choose to be that guy five years from now, but I'm choosing the guy who's got my dream physique, my dream girl, my dream business, because that guy is ultimately going to be me in the future. That time is going to pass anyway, so why not take the first step to take back your life? Anyway, if you're on self-improvement, you've got this, bro. I believe in you. Now you just got to believe in you. Anyway, stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. Mwah. Now, I just heard my oven sizzling, sizzling away, which means I've got food in there. Having myself some more chicken. Chicken and bread this time. It's actually homemade bread. This is the first time I've ever made bread, so I don't know if it's going to be really good or really shit.